My friends, welcome back to a new episode of the United Federation of Planets. So, last time we completely smashed our fleets against this um, hostile intel, or the Orion Syndicate. I'm um, looking like a fool today. But not only that happened, what also happened is we got a few new uh, names. Um, Pete Gromov, we got Nawa, we have Shadow Slayer. And we have Silas Shepard. Welcome to the team. Thank you for so much for your comments. I am always enjoying comments and, and this is my way of repaying you. Now, there's a few things that I want to change. Um, last time, we got the this ship. And I'd said this looks a lot like the Defiant. But actually, I was uh, stand corrected. It is the Reliant. Uh, apparently, it is the, um, the first version of... The Defiant, that was featured in the Wrath of Khan, apparently. I uh, wasn't aware of that, but I'm going to be making sure that I'm going to be saving that design. Let's get rid of the Poseidon. There we go, we'll have to change everything. I don't know why he just didn't save over the name. So, that is all done. Also, geometrical power of geothermal power will uh, help my economy uh, quite a bit. There's a few things that we need to be doing. Um, especially getting more alloy production because it is it is just too bad it is not good at all not good uh, Starfleet Medical is uh, is going ahead and yeah we're going to be focusing a lot on alloys there is a few buildings that just have an amazing production so let's see if we actually can find those yeah, the power station, upkeep is only just this this one thing. I'm not even sure what it's called. Pegium. So I can actually build two of these if I had 50 of them. And yeah, uh, I think I already got the geothermal thing going on. Or it's not able to be built here. Well, it doesn't really matter. There's a few buildings that I'm, we're going to be looking out for. Since they will just in immensely boost... Uh, my population. Um, landfill is nice, but I'd rather have it that you start working on the medical. Since we have two specialists over here that are just not doing anything. Now, all that said, there is one other thing. Um, I've mentioned a few times uh, that the, the others make these uh, colonial ships. Now, a way to deal with that, and this advice is from Ultimate Toby, is just give them territory with a planet that suits their needs, and they will send that colony ship, and uh, they wouldn't be building it. Also, I think it will make them stronger, because they have more territory. So, yeah. One thing, and this is the last thing. My family is my hearth and castle. I am aware. I'm, I'm I'm making a lot of fun here about about Horrid. Uh, I've known Horrid for a long time, and I absolutely love that guy. Uh, and I'm, I, every time I hear his voice, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm giggling. I'm, I'm I'm just giggling. I'm not making fun of him. I'm not hating him. I really I really like this guy. So yeah, don't don't get my intentions wrong. It's just because every time I hear him, I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> like like a small small school guy small school boy i guess anyways with all of the done we are currently uh fighting in a war against the nausean tribes i know it's it's, it's a dreadful war a one territory i know i know i shouldn't be even be fighting this but oh well what can you do right so we're going to be looking into our fleet design because i think it's going to be very very important um we are already adding the multi-purpose ships and the light cruisers. Um, with our light cruisers being uh, point defense, mainly. And the explorers, the NX classes, they are... Well, of course they have shuttles, which is very nice. I like that, but they're heavy hitters. They, they have a lot of lasers, good against shield. Um, a lot of penetration, not so much on damage though, which is a bit... Sad. And we have our, our missile barrage. It's like, he's like a line ship. Well, just fire away on torpedoes. And, and we'll make sure that he has a lot of shields. 
We're going to be focusing a lot on defenses. So we need alloys. We need a lot of them. A lot of alloys. Uh, train officer wise, it's still going good. So let's on pause. Let's go to the second speed and continue our game. Because I will be talking throughout this thing forever. Uh, the trail would like to get there. Okay, I'm sure it's only fifth. So I'm going to keep that one. We are... Oh, wow. A, an asteroid. Oh, that's, that is timing. Damn. Let's pause here right away. Where is that contraption? Oh, there it is. I'm sure we are able to do it. It takes us 114 days. How long will it take him? Oh, well. It is actually not too far away, so we'll have a good chance. Uh, also... Yeah, we were upgrading all the stations, right? I think so, yeah. It's been a while. It has been a while. Maybe not for you, but it has been for me. So I'm, I'm a bit rusty, so please forgive me. Also, I have stand corrected about traffic control. Traffic control's great. You will need it. And the reason I'm saying I'm standing corrected, yes, and I know the game was lagging again, yay, is um, you can create highways, I've been told. And highways are good. So, yeah, we like that. So, let's see. We want to have traffic controls. A lot of them. And this station is, is really not... I'm not feeling this station. I know I, uh, I we built it here. But it needs to be, like, above Vega. And it will have a planet. It's more important that this mega structure. Maybe we should have even built it over here. But we need to make sure all of our stations are above planets so we can actually build like orbital hospitals and orbital museums those things really help so yeah this one is over here we'll have to replace all these these two it it has to be done look at this it's just so much better and once we upgrade it i will get a traffic control in there but this will just help us and this, this flat bonus i like that Oh, it is almost done. We'll get more species into the Federation. We'll even get 10 energy back as well. Now they want a migration treaty. Uh, sure. Sure. Rivalry, but it's in the council. No. No, why? Let us end the charade. <laughs> I don't want to. I like you. I like that. That red has species a lot. Man, I'm not sure. It's... What the hell is going on again? Uh, Unidentified Empire. These are the pirates, I'd say. Yeah, I think they are. No, this is the um, the astro. We are getting back up over here. Look at that. Very nice. And we have won the war. Hurrah. We have won it. I, I really like that. <laughs> like nobody actually cares. It was a, a one system. What actually happened to them? Um, you talk and you talk, but you have no Garamba. Garamba. <laughs> Man. Um, yeah, I can't wait until we actually integrate these guys. Uh, it will put us into a direct course with the Klingon Empire, which is frightening. I really think it's frightening. So, uh, once this fight is over, and it shouldn't be taking us too long... Yeah, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. They will merge in together. So that's going to be nice. But we need to build up that fleet power. It's um, it's a joke. It is a joke, our fleet power. We need to work that thing to the bone. Okay, at normal speed, the game isn't... The cut that. Oh, here we go, guys. They're starting to... Um, Witnessing the civil service they are... The never -ending sacrifice. <laughs> um, they are going to... Um, prepare for war, I guess. Which is not good. It's, it's really not good. Let's get rid of you. Yeah, I don't think we lost a ship, do you? I don't think that was uh, a thing that's actually able to happen. Come on, mate. You can do this. Thank you. Go back home. Let's uh, reinforce this fleet. And we also need to upgrade it. Uh, relic activity available. Well, we're not doing that. It's the float. I don't really understand. I don't think we have any others, right? Actually, we do. We have the inner abortion piece. Engineering research plus 10. 
This relic has no acti um, active effects without its other piece. So we can't do it. Federation membership. Here we go. We got another 10. That's one of the uh, the smaller species. See, we can't we can't um, accept it. Everyone is welcome to Earth. That's just going to be gorgeous. I like that. So here we go. Back to speed two. Mm, yeah, first the fleet, then we'll change the, uh, the the location of those stations. What I do hope that is going to happen in the foreseeable future is that the lag will disappear. Really, really, nobody likes lag. Why is it even in here? Uh, there's just so many loose ends, I'd say. So we had our first war. I'm not sure how far are we with the integration. If we get the membership thing right now, it will be a problem. Since we'll have to do a small influence. And I would like to do a big one. Mem if memory serves me correct. <laughs> of course here we are. Yeah, we did do a low intensity. We can do a medium. Let's do a medium. Medium is also fine. A small and a medium make a large. So we still have to do a large one and a small one to integrate those guys. We have to prepare because our economy is not good. It's not good at all. Mars is doing the special funding. It will might even... There we go. Habitability of, of 80. Amity using housing use. We'll see how far we can actually push this. Survey complete. A lot of surveys are done. What are my... Oh, you specialists are still unemployed. Why? You truly are unemployed. It's over 65. I guess that's nice. Hmm. What can we do? Hmm. Well, let's see. I would like to build this station. It's just 25. It's gorgeous. I like it. If I can build another one, which I don't think I'm able to. If we can we buy that stuff? No, we are not able to. So the dreams of the blue planet, that's all about Mars. Apparently, this is now at a hundred. We have a solar thing going on. Interesting. And we can still keep it going. Solar reactor habitability plus 5. Interesting. Well, this will definitely do good for the uh, growth, I guess. But we can keep it go. Let's see how far we can actually push this. If we can actually end it somewhere. Because I think this is... Uh, the 5 shouldn't be there. And according to the tooltip... It is about 65. So, yeah. What, what's up with that? Not quite sure. So, yeah. Oh my god. There's so many planets. And the AI. Apparently, the AI really, really doesn't feel like listening. Which is unfortunate. So, we got the backup warp coils. What else do we get? Next stage shield technology. Or next stage phaser energy weapons. I quite like to get into the weapons. In all honesty. Because I'm thinking we are lacking weapons here. Okay, this is rather awkward. Why did I get that? Is it a research job that we got something from? So this is 70. Let's upgrade. So at least that's done with the explorers. And the newest explorers will most likely have the, uh, the latest design. So that will uh, not do anything for us. Technology discovered. Let's see. There we go. Fleet command limit? Um, not sure if that is what I'm aiming for. Let's take a quick look at our fleet management. Okay, this is interesting. I did add you. Six, so it's 144. And we're definitely still in our naval cap. Getting more command limit would be nice. I would like to add more... Um, Light cruisers. I'm not sure if I should add the frigates. They are cheap though. They are cheap. Like the half of it. Although it's also half of the multi-mission ship. 
and wow looking at this it is this ship is getting obsolete very much hmm let's go with the fleet command limit and we'll get some more soon Man, I'm, I'm really uh, kind of bummed out that the uh, ai is not doing its thing though uh, we're still giving it monthly a good amount and it's still using look at this it's only 215 so it is being used I wonder what they will do. Wasteland, Rio de Janeiro. I know it should be something we should pay attention to, but I think getting these uh, specialists working would be way more important than clearing out tile blockers. What are you building? Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's probably going to be a problem. Oh, we're making four now. Okay, okay. And this might be working after all that will boost the energy into into the roof that's really nice so the one is finished i'm thinking the one on earth is that possible no it's not mars is doing its thing i really and look at this it changed so much it's even getting clouds uh mars at 100 percent insult from the nausean tribes a cool I guess how long will it take us to get that next species in and how far are you you okay you've built everything right are we going to do this right now and change the location like over to Vega I think I am Let's go to Vegas Station. You're going to get a station, mate. There you go. And we'll do one at a time because it does cost us a good deal of alloys. And I, I don't want to spend my alloys like like in, 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 like crazy. Uh, rivalry decoration by the For Romulan the Star Empire. Empire. <laughs> I really like that voice. Um, landing pot of fighter hangars. And it is a military facility. So will this, it produces energy uh, research, but also amenities. This building will spawn one powerful defensive army unit per year, automatically during peacetime with a maximum amount of five. Um, sure. Uh, I might be very interested in that. Actually, yes, I am. Uh, we are unable to do this because we don't have the planetary skill. We have hidden dealings. Oh, a rare disease unrelated to our first contact is rapidly spreading across the united world of... Oh yeah, we know this. Um, let's see, do we actually have enough to cure that? Yes, we do. So I think that's the best option. What is the fleet doing? It still needs upgrading. So let's upgrade. There we go, that is quite nice. Yeah, support has been increasing, that's nice, that's excellent. It really is excellent. <clears throat> Ships upgraded. Oh, guys, it's the final day of the year, right? Crying aloud. Things have been moving so fast this year. Uh, I wonder how things are for you. If you, are, if you reached this point... Let me know in the comment section, how was your year? How were things for you? Also, let's boost this up to 40. Because we are lacking energy the most in this Federation membership. Awesome. Um, housing greater than zero. Can we fix that? Let's build. Do it like this. We'll keep this going. On the side. Doesn't really matter. It, it would not go away. I don't think so. Uh, what we do get is more influence back as well as energy. We're still making a very, very good amount of it though. More rivalry. Wow. Perhaps I should do some more analysis before we discuss matters. Mm, yes, perhaps you should. But you're one planet. If you really want to go in that direction... 
80%, there we go. Nice. Can we do some more? Yes, we can. And we will. So, there you go, zero. So, they're still using this. Let's go up to 50. Maybe decrease the mineral counts? Well, not really. It's not really that important. What we need most is this city. So we need more buildings, and that's going to be a little over a year. I will keep this over there, I'm sorry for that. I, I really know people don't like it. It's just clutter. Nobody likes clutter. And let's get rid of you, we have already seen, but this, look at this, man. It doesn't feel smooth. Um, decoration of the Martian colonies. So, representatives for all over Mars stood ill at the ease of one corner of the mess hall. Uh, in a base which I am unable to pronounce, the attendants hurried to drag in more seats. The hall was ill-fitted for such a distinguished occasion, but rugged Mars has yet to manufacture anything else uh, that could house such a large gathering. Finally, they were all allowed to enter. The red planet is no more, replaced by something that appears almost green. Thousands of migrants from Earth flock here, and the population is booming. It is clear to everyone, something must be done. A short while later, all the meeting, uh, while well, after the meeting commenced, uh, John Hemelich, an old and distinguished, stepped in front of the short podium. He was the representative of... Gunders dot der dome, <laughs> of course, one of the largest in the 22nd colony of Mars. His gravi um, gravely voice spoke for all. We stand here, not unlike all our forefathers did in the grand old cities of Philadelphia, not to cast not to cast off tyranny, but to embrace freedom. We take the first step today as we make the fundamental declarations of the Martian colonies. Okay. I hope this will not backfire to me. But I wonder what it will all mean for this. So, yeah, let me take a look at the time. Yeah, I, I, I can't exit, so I can't... I have to go into the next uh, episode, guys. So let me pause here and, and say, be careful. Be careful today. It is the last day of the year and we know firecrackers, it has claimed a lot of fingers, eyes, ears and even life. So be careful because I do like all of you and I would like to see you in the next episode, of course, which I'm already going to record next time. So this is a bit awkward. I'm saying to you, thank you for last year. And I um, hope to see you next year, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.